Anyways, this was a little unexpected today, but you find us in a Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio. It's gonna take a little walk around the exterior really quick. It's really loud over here today. Um, this one's in full black, black on black on black. The wheels right there, of course, and we have some nice red Alfa Romeo calipers behind them. Some rocking up some Pirelli rubber over here. It's P zeros. Of course, the Stelvio Quadrifoglio is all-wheel drive versus the Giulio, which is rear-wheel drive only for the uh, Quadrifoglio model. Quad-tip exhaust, really nice. Practical, too. I really, this is a super metallic paint. You can check out the metallicness in there. You fit five people on a super SUV. Um, but yeah, let's hear how it sounds, because why not? have a little bit of some time for this really quickly oh. it is a monster so of course to push the start you can just press this button this one isn't too crazy with the spec like i said it's black on black with the carbon fiber interior trim on the entire center console out from it really stuffed up their quality for this facelifted version too so it's really nice um yeah no carbon back seats or anything on this one we do have the beautiful metal paddles and we do have a nice alcantara leather wheel quadrifolio badge right here which is really nice i love this little italian flag as well Let me just pop the windows down for you guys so you can hear exhaust modes it's a little loud right now i think you can pop this into dynamic mode on a startup too let's hear what this sounds mm, doesn't do anything crazy i think you might need to do race mode for a aggressive start pop it into race mode though the exhaust is incredible yeah it's it's nice um there's people doing yoga over there so i don't really want to disturb them pop the windows up for a second so alfa romeo stelvio quadrifoglio what are we having here so we have a twin turbocharged v6 under the hood 2.9 liters i'm like oh 500 plus horsepower pretty nice um eight-speed gearbox ef gearbox of course you can paddle shift them with these you have an additional drive mode you get race mode you also get adaptive suspension system um yeah, everything's more heightened with the quadrifolio models of course um red start stop button which is really nice and everything else is pretty much typical alfa romeo which you're going to get your other stelvios up to the veloce models you have a wireless charger you can charge your on uh, um, the picture of key fob down there the little place for your key fob which you can stick in there which is really cool I'm just kind of shove it in there so you don't lose it. I really like that actually. Um, heated and I think we just have heated seats. Um, heated steering wheel. Climate control is nice. It's separate from the entertainment system. The entertainment system is a little, um, oh boy, very slow today. You do have nice performance gauges if we can get them up. So the boost gauge. Oh, there, there's the exhaust. Um, that's some consumption history. Torque vectoring for the level drive system, which is really cool. It's rear wheel drive primarily most of the time performance content um it's cool i like the technical gauges those are my favorite boost oil pressure and torque really cool race mode is a little aggressive for the street as it turns everything off and you can pop it over to the left for full manual control or you can always access the manual control whenever you want from the paddle shifters on the steering wheel and setting off on this thing the steering is fantastic in these stelvios um i think it's been always a hallmark of these cars And it is freaking quick, like really, really quick. These cars, um, which is what you would expect with 500 horsepower. You know, outside we just took a quick little tour. There's nothing too big on the visual changes. It's always been. I don't know if it's been a complaint for some for the Stelvio or even the Julia Quadrifoglio, but they never looked too um, crazy versus the regular models so you know you have a vented hood a little bit of more of aggression going on on the front end with the bumper design and of course the quad tip exhaust belt back other than that and of course the iconic um quadrifolio uh, badges other than that it's nothing too crazy oh it's tight over here um yeah nothing too crazy like i said but 
what you're really paying for here is the incredible drivetrain and the incredible performance that this car is capable of putting out to the ground because i think that is where you're getting your money's worth in this vehicle pop our blinkers on over here it's a busy road like i said it's a quick freaking car it's a beast it pulls hard you want it to and when you don't want it to it's pretty quiet and comfortable actually yeah this thing's a monster i think it's one of those underrated um performance suvs on the market now i would say underrated because i think people are a little afraid of this thing and the, the reliability with alfa romeo they're always afraid of oh you know i can't own an alfa romeo it's gonna go bad on me Sure, there have been issues and people have experienced some problems with the quad, specifically the quadrifolio models, actually. Um, I know a few friends that own the Julia with the 2.0 turbo. Pretty fine, actually. I know some people have never had any issues. Some people have had random problems, like little gremlins to fix here and there. But generally, it's, it's a little, I think, over-exaggerated um, of how many issues these cars are having. Nonetheless, when they do work, they are fabulous. Um, specifically the quadrifolio model. I'm going to have to merge over here for a second. And like I said, race, I think, is a little too aggressive for um, street driving. It turns off everything. Um, no driver controls, no traction control. It's nuts. And like I said before, you can pop it into manual mode whenever you want. Or you can also pop into um, normal mode or natural, as Alfa Romeo calls it. And yes, even the quadrifolio gets an advanced efficiency mode because... It is 2022. Um, and you can see how low the revs just drop all the way down to like 1500 RPM. And you can just cruise around town and it's nothing too um, insane. But like I said, just pop this little um, DNA dial over the dynamic and the whole car instantly changes its um, kind of stance. You can always pop the suspension into soft or hard mode. And then even in race, which you hold down to put into ESCs off. It's, I think it's manual only in race too. No, it's not but you could put it in manual only um this engine's phenomenal i think it sounds fantastic and i love how you can actually hear it well inside as well um and it's no fake nonsense either it's just real engine notes so the alfa romeo's done a fantastic job with the exhaust tuning on the stelvio quadrifolio as well and believe it or not um this isn't like super stiff or super harsh that's i think one of the things that surprises me with the quadrifolio is you get into these higher performance vehicles and it's like just too stiff and hard for the road like i just put the dampers in soft and it really does make a, a, even a, the slightest difference there is a difference there and we're just in dynamic mode too and it's making those aggressive shifts which is i think it's fantastic um yeah this is a fantastic whole whole experience i think with this vehicle <clears throat> oh, like i was saying before if you are going to be delaying this some things to be a little bit annoying as the infotainment system like i said is slow um you do have a control wheel down here if you want to control it manually if you don't want to touch it thankfully they did put in the touch screen um i don't know why it's still slow um the Stellantis group has some really good and quick infotainment systems in the newer vehicles hopefully we'll see an upgrade when the facelift comes out of this soon so let me just see what happens i can do this yeah this thing's nuts <laughs> this, this thing's absolutely nuts um Definitely don't want to mess around with it. But honestly, I think the Stelvio Quadrifolio makes a little bit more sense than the Julia Quadrifolio. And just for the reason one, at least for dailying, the reasoning would be um, all-wheel drive. You have that capability when you, if you do need it, you also get increased um, kind of performance with that all-wheel drive system. So you're going to help better put the traction to the ground. Not like the Julia Quadrifolio has any traction issues because it really isn't that bad actually um <clears throat> but this will help put that power to the ground better and what i think is the best analogy for this vehicle is that if you put it side by side with a grand cherokee track hawk which has keep in mind like 700 and like something horsepower this thing will pretty much keep up with it and sometimes be a little bit quicker than it and has 500 like 10 505 horsepower i think that's a testament to how good this vehicle actually is you know alfa romeo on the short this julia um giorgio platform which is kind of disappearing a little bit now let's look at those down <laughs> okay that was cool i had to do that oh i'm sorry Every time you see a tunnel, um, you, gotta, you gotta hear the exhaust note. <clears throat> but as I was saying, 
this thing's a beast and even put up against the Grand Cherokee Trackhawk, like I was saying, um, it can it can hold its ground, which I think is impressive. Um, and they're pretty similarly priced too. Not saying they're, they don't share anything. They're completely different vehicles from the ground up, but just something to keep aware of. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think just the, the, the vehicle is worth it just <laughs> for the exhilaration that you get from this powertrain because it's just, it, it's nuts. It's, it's freaking insane. Um, I'm just gonna pop over here for a second. I'm gonna show you guys around the exterior a little bit more. <clears throat> Even the downshifts in automatic mode are crazy. That really only happens when you're in dynamic and race mode, but nuts, <clears throat> nuts stuff. And it has auto stop start for that efficiency because of course we need that these days. Yeah, it's just, Alfa Romeo can deliver this experience to you as a driver that I think is unmatched still in this segment and you know people kind of hate on them for like oh the quality's not nice and all that stuff's not there but it is there you have a fully stitched leather dashboard carbon fiber dash and <clears throat> it's not like a parts bin vehicle all this stuff is unique to Alfa Romeo actually most of it um and we're seeing it so unique now that we're actually seeing Alfa Romeo parts on other vehicles these days um, such as the Maserati MC20 supercar and newer Maseratis actually have an Alfa Romeo steering wheel that's reskinned. So I think they're recognizing how much the good parts of these vehicles and distributing them across other brands. I think it's actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, but Silva Quadrifoglio, it's a beast. It's a beast. Can't push it to its full limits, obviously, right now, but you can see just some little throttle blipping and a little bit of <laughs> some exhaust sounds it's, it's nuts yeah this is not a joke this car not a joke you have to think about what this competes with you got like the bmw x3 m competition you have the um oh this is fantastic you have the GLC 63 with a V8 <clears throat> and they're all making around similar power but I, none of them are like this none of them feel like this none of them sound like this even the, even the GLC with its four liter twin turbo V8 isn't I don't know it's just this is just a special vehicle I think it's a lucid air over there that's awesome let's just park it up real quick maybe have a little bit more fun with that exhaust for a second <clears throat> awesome pop it into park Hop into race mode because why not, right? <laughs> Let's just get a sound for that exhaust because it is nuts. No rev limiter. Thank you, Alfa Romeo. Love that for you guys. But like I said, this vehicle is fantastic. I'm just hopping out of it. It's one of those vehicles where when you leave it, you want to look back at it because it looks so freaking cool. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for a lot more coming soon from All Car News.